welcome back to another episode of Banggood Stuff. In today's episode I take a look at an electronic organ teaching kit. It costs around 3 bucks and it's very well rated. So let's read some reviews first. I'll start with the positive ones. Pi user wrote that this is a very easy to solder kit. Chris Yanis said that this is a nice soldering practice. Now let's read a negative one. Dave wrote that this is not a device that will work out of the box and that the speaker does not work. So is this a good soldering practice in the nice, maybe even useful kit or is it just a really cheap kit that won't work at all? But let's find out. Let's take a look at the contents. In the package is a PCB and a bunch of components in a separate bag. At first glance the PCB looks good. It's a single sided board with a blue solder mask. The pads on the bottom side look nice and large and the overall quality is good. The silk screen on the top is not perfect but it's good enough. Unfortunately all the other components were just tossed into this plastic bag. On the image on Banggood there was a manual in the kit. In real life the kit didn't have any instructions included. Due to the bad packaging some of the pins were bent. So here are all the components of the package that I received. The PCB, a bunch of resistors, 8 yellow button caps, transparent button caps, a speaker, 8 buttons, a screw terminal, 4 capacitors, 2 short wires and an IC with a socket. This IC is a standard 555 timer. The link to the datasheet is in the video description. If you would like to see the kit being put together, click the little info card in the top right corner of this video now, or click the link at the end of this video. Overall I can say, the kit was very easy to assemble and I had no problems at all. And here it is, completely assembled. Now it's time to test it. Add wires to your power supply and then turn it on. Yay, it works! So this thing worked right out of the box and I immediately noticed that the buttons are really nice to press. They feel very solid and not flimsy at all. However, the transparent button caps don't look that good in my opinion. Let's do a quick recap here. Overall the parts are good and the PCB is really nice. The kit was easy to solder and it worked right out of the box. However, there were no instructions included and the website had wrong images. The main problem with this kit was the bad packaging. Overall I would say this was a really nice kit and it was easy to assemble. So this is suitable for beginners or maybe even kids that are interested in electronics. So due to the bad packaging and the missing instructions, I would rate this kit with 4 stars. So the question remains, should you buy? I would say if you are a beginner or you want to buy this for a beginner, yes absolutely, go ahead and buy it. It's cheap, the quality is good and it worked right out of the box without any modifications needed. If you want to see the video of the assembly, click the info card in the top right corner of this video now. As always, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.